hey, if you've been browsing around the internet, you've probably came across the expert advice of circulate your pond water once every two hours. Now, let's say you have a small pond, um, a 300 gallon pond. If you circulate with 150 gallons per hour pump on that 300 gallon pond, you're going to have a horrible mess on your hands. You're going to need to double the size of the pump for a small pond like that. So that, you know, 300 gallon pond, 350 gallon pond, you're going to need about a 700 gallon per hour pump to handle that small size pond. A 750 gallon pond, I would still double the pump. You know, if you've got a, a 750 gallons of water, run about a 1500 gallon pump. Maybe you could get away with a 1200 gallon per hour pump. On a, say, a, a pond that's a medium size for backyards, a thousand, twelve hundred, fifteen hundred gallon pond. In that case, go, you know, circulate it once per hour. So, twelve hundred gallon pond, twelve hundred gallon per hour pump, fifteen hundred gallon pond, fifteen hundred gallon per hour pump. Now, on a three thousand gallon pond, which is a pretty good, you know, sized backyard pond, the experts are correct. You know, I would go with about a fifteen hundred gallon per hour pump for that. Once every two hours is going to be fine for that size pond. Now, there's a couple of variables that we need to keep in mind when we size our pump. One is head height. You know, how high are we having to pump from the, from the top of our pump, excuse me, to the top of our waterfall? Because every foot of that is going to take away a good percentage of our gallon per hour. The other thing to consider is how long is our tubing? For every 10 foot of tubing, it's the same as going one foot high. So, Let's say in our example we've got a 1,500 gallon pond, but we've got it pretty deep and we're pumping pretty high, we're probably going to then have to double the size of the pump to be able to get any kind of waterfall on that. Now the last thing to keep in mind is your filtration. If you're using a UV filter, you have to follow the instructions. If the UV filter says it's rated for 600 gallons an hour through that UV and you run through you know, two or three times that amount, your UV won't work for you. It needs time, you know, it needs time for the algae to be killed as it goes through the UV lighting. So what you can do there is either go with two smaller pumps, one that just goes right through the UV up to your waterfall, the other going directly into the waterfall, or divert it. That same thing works on a filtration system. You know, if you're running too much water through your filter and it's overflowing, well, what we can do there is just somewhere coming out of your pump, your pump we're going to want to tee it, which also adds head height, and tee one branch into your, your filter system, the other branch directly into your waterfall. And that way you'll have the right size pond pump for your pond.